Tonight, Burlington City Councilors will vote on whether to amend a policy concerning damage to public property, specifically graffiti that could be considered hateful or that targets certain groups. But as NBC5's Anna Guber explains, it's raising questions about First Amendment rights. Well, some people we spoke with say they see graffiti like this as a form of freedom of expression. Others say it takes away from Burlington's small city aesthetic. But when people paint graffiti like this with the intent to be hateful or malicious, well, now city leaders want to give the targeted victims the right to sue for damages. I definitely see a little less than I did in like 2022, 2020, like one, but there is still a lot of graffiti around the city. While some say graffiti takes away from Burlington's small city charm. Sometimes it can be artistic, but mostly I just think it's desecrating someone's property and an eyesore. Others see it as a form of art. A lot of people see it as an expression of their personal like views and what they want to put out in the world. But if those views express messages of hate or target certain groups, Burlington City leaders want potential victims to have the right to sue for damages. They've proposed an expanded ordinance to address this issue. The change would only allow legal action if the intent behind the graffiti aims to intimidate or harass another person based on things like race, religion, gender, or sexual orientation. We're looking to the intent of the doer, not the effect on the, the, the perceiver, I guess. Um, and, and it would have to be shown that the doer had a malicious intent, which means they acted with a conscious disregard for the rights and safety of others. and that their intent was to intimidate or harass somebody. Um, and, and that would have to be proven uh, in order for them to be liable for any damages. Ultimately, it would be up to a court to decide if there's sufficient evidence of hateful intent. And while neighbors say they want a solution, some question whether this change will be enough to deter offenders. I don't think that it would really stop them from wanting to kind of exercise their expression of personal view. I do want a solution, so I would be open to suggestions. And if you want to learn more about this proposal, come out to the City Council meeting tonight. It starts at 6 o'clock at Burlington City Hall. In Burlington, Anna Goober, NBC5 News.